Former agency operative Rico Rodriguez. Up to this point, his whereabouts have been unknown since our withdrawal from Medici. Responsible for deposing half a dozen heads of state. The Black Hand have encountered him before in San Espirito, where he assassinated our employer, President Salvador Mendoza. We fought him again in Medici, where he overthrew Sebastiano Di Ravello. Though the agency had some involvement, and this is his handler, Tom Sheldon, we've learned Rodriguez's motivation for liberating Medici was personal. You have briefed me on this man before, Commander Morales. We're preparing a test. Can we cut to the chase, por favor? Of course, Señor Spinoza. Intelligence suggests that he is the son of Miguel Rodriguez. My Miguel Rodriguez? Hmm. Huh. And... And he's here, in Solis. Now. So, that's my father's super weapon. Project Tiapa. He was a kind man, my father. A scientist. Doesn't make sense he would build such a thing. My uncle was a good man, too. And they both ended up dead. Lots of questions, hmm? Time to get some answers. You can't do this alone. I have people who can help us. Here, I've done this kind of thing before. This is different. I can handle some bad weather. It's more than bad weather, Rico. If you would just listen to me... Mira, a plan is a list of things that go wrong. I like to keep my list short. Just be ready. When I patch you into that console, you'll have to find Espinosa quickly. He answers my questions. We destroy Project Diapa. Plan. Hmm? Well? Buena suerte. <laughs> Oscar Espinosa, better be ready to talk. All right, welcome back. Bad gamers, this is the Rats Cast. Hear you loud and clear. Cyber here as always. To monitor your progress from a safe distance. Come to you for the first time. From Just Cause 4. I'm so excited to finally be able to do this. I love this game. This is like one of my favorite games I've ever played. It was a it was just cause three. I played a little bit too, but three was so much fun. Okay, so we gotta figure this out here. <laughs> oh no, didn't mean that. Okay, so we got that down. How do I get these things? Barrel grenade launcher. Nice. I'm seeing explosion. What's going on? Gotta put these gun through its bases. Don't want to go in unprepared, do I? Of course <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, I love this game. 
<laughs> Whoa! Nice! Oh, that was um, interesting. Didn't expect that to happen. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> the road is walled off. Can you get over it? Of course I can. Give me a break. First though. Come on. Boom. Okay. Where to now? Those lights across the valley? Head towards them. That's a big tower. Espinosa promises it will change the world. No more tornadoes or hurricanes. And most of Solis believes him. Project Iapa won't be a problem after today, Mira. If your plan works. It will work. Come on. Ah, oh, Rico. Turn. Maybe. Bueno. Follow that piping. You're gonna come face to face with a black hand. We've come face to face before. Heading up. Ah, shit. Come on. Wake up. <laughs> nice. Come on. There we go. Anybody for a little havoc? God. I miss this game. Now I do have to admit though that they used a different act voice actor for Rico as they did in 3 so I'm a little bummed because I liked the original voice actor. But, you know, these things happen. Nice, okay. Up oh, too late. Not quite what I wanted to do. I know there's a lot more females in this game. I was watching somebody else play and I'm like, I thought it was really interesting that there seems to be a lot of female uh, protagonists. 
where the original was more male oriented. Here we go. Great full of weapons. Well, they black hand never deploy unprepared. Okay, I can't switch weapons? I can't tell. Okay. Before I can at least have two weapons on me, I could always switch weapons. Uh, doesn't seem I'm able to switch weapons in this one. When did I kill that person? Can't go that way. Let's ready to go up the stairs then, huh? Alright, let's go. You know what? Hold on a second. Let me do something really, really fast. No, uh... <clears throat> Music's fine. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna put this back up a little, sorry. Music's fine, but the thing is, is that the last game I played, I forgot to change the volume of things, and I seriously got drowned out. Uh, by the game effects. So we're just going to change a few things. Um... I was hoping to be able to Yep, oh, okay. I was hoping to be able to add uh more uh uh bring up the uh the brightness. Weren't too happy to have me poking around. The black hand are highly trained marks, and they're wholly owned by Espinosa. His own private army. Nice. Pretty good one, too. <laughs> Not good enough. Back to your post. Target is gone. Anybody here? <laughs> I see those outcroppings. You're on the right track. Can you get across? Oh yeah, definitely. But not before we cause a little havoc. See those outcroppings. You're on the right track. Can you get across? <laughs> Come on, Rico. There we go. I 
see oh. those outcroppings. Okay, dude, enough, all right. No sweat. I know about the stupid outcroppings. Give me a moment. I like the new whip thingy. There we go. The more sooner towers we can take out, the better. I do like how the moon, you can see that they have the shadow right there. I only wish the thing is that when you actually look at the moon in real life, you can actually see the dark side. You can't really see that in the game. I wonder if it'd be different if I had this on PC. Maybe let's get some more definition. Ooh, yeah. Ah. I love. I think the thing I love the most about this game was the fact that they they added the tethers. The whole grappling hook thing, I love that. Being able to just zip line anywhere I feel like going. Be able to pull things apart like this. Enough the dish did not fall down. Alright, be that way. You're all coming down whether you like it or not. Classic kids. There we go. I'm at Project the Upper. Rico, there's a console further up this structure. Not sure how I'll you'll... figure it out. I saw something on the side over there. Look at that. I wonder what that is. Oh, my God. 
I pull myself into the thing, but one black hand unit, stand by for more intel. No, no, okay. Probably something I have to blow up. Okay. Worst part, I have no more. Uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, I got no ammo. firing at me I can't tell I see lots of scientists I don't see any gun oh there he goes
Okay, now that one's on our side. In case anybody wants to land and cause me some problems. Okay, we good? We good. Hmm. Target last known position was on site. Stand by. Hmm. I don't seem to have any way to blow this up. Excuse me. Come on, here we go. All right, all right, here we are. What's this person doing, Stand, just standing around doing nothing? I guess not. Okay. Okay. Alright, all right. how do you switch weapons on this thing? Okay, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Grabbing the called out action tether. Yeah, so like AR tap and scan. Oh, okay, so you just tap to switch weapons. Okie dokie. I see, I see, I see, I see.
up. Oh, nice. Really? You stupid thing. That's so funny watching the real stuff. Whoa! Nicely done. Okay, I can't take it like I did in the, in the old ones. Damn it. Contact! Contact! I got him! Alright, let's do this. Oh, I gotta kill her first. Hello? Thank you. Shoot at me. Oh, wait. I... Nope, can't get over there. Damn it. Okay, and I can't see over there. Come on, Rico, get down. Looks like your communications are down. Target last known position was on site. Stand by. Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, Mira, I found the console. Patch me in and I'll locate Espinosa for you. Oh, nice! They're just not succeeding. <laughs> Got a 
Black Hand here. I'm through security. Just hang in a few more seconds and you'll be able to move, Rico. I'm looking for him. Take your time. He's unlikely <laughs> he has survived this long. <laughs> All that, and he's on top of the spire. It's like, really? We might as well make sure. See, si, Senor Espinosa. Let's see what Project Diapa can do, shall we? Senor. Take a few moments for the core to reach full power. Do you think you can keep him occupied until then? This is Commander Morales. We have a threat on sight. Activate Yapa's defenses. Engage all artillery towers. That woman with Rico at the airport. Is that who I think it was? See. Deal with that, please. With pleasure. Welcome to Just Cause 4, guys. <laughs> Rico. Rico, this is Mira. Please respond. Mira. Come in, Rico. Please respond. Mira. Rico. Ay, Dios mío, you're alive. I lost your GPS. See, si, my grappling hook's broken. So is my wingsuit. Parachute. Maybe a few reaps. I'll need to make repairs. I have tools at El Abismo. What's your location? A forest? I don't know. I'm sending you my coordinates. Hope it works. Got it. I'll see you soon. <laughs> no, just just a little bit of weather there, huh, Rico? <laughs> uh, not having my grappling hook is like missing a limb. Mm -hmm. We've lost the target. Stand down for now. That looks like the place. Never seen anything like Yapa before. Uh, Mira might be right. Yeah, he's right. Mira, I'm at El Abismo. People here must not be afraid of heights. <laughs> I know you're not. I'm not, but I usually have a parachute. I mean, without the, I'm so used to using the grappling hook to get around and move. That without it, it's like, damn. And like, I have to walk. Me? <laughs> you have to actually walk somewhere? Oh boy. What happened? Everything okay? 
Tja, fein. Blackhand Chopper. That's not good. Empty it out fast. Half the people leaving here oh, are trying to get away from Espinosa and his black hand. Look at that! It's just cute. God, this is so trippy. Look at this. Could you imagine living like this? And a bunch of shanty like houses underneath a bridge suspended above nothing. That's just crazy talk. Awful. Agua. The Black Hand are casing the village. That happen often. Almost never. Maybe somebody attacked their weather base. Yeah. Tools? Gracias. I don't think I could take Project Diapa alone. I agree. I'm saying I was wrong. But you were right. Is that a distress signal? I didn't think you are with the agency anymore. Help me with this. What do we do about Iapa? Between the blizzard and those artillery towers, I can't get close. I have a couple of ideas. Tell me. Wait. Listen. Uh oh. Your actions in the next few minutes may determine the fate of this community. I am Commander Morales. I have tolerated El Abismo for years. To maintain order and justice in Solis, I've allowed this place to serve as a refuge for the criminal and the disenfranchised. But last night, a terrorist attack was launched against the Project Iyapa facility. The culprit was abetted by a conspirator from this village. Who is that? Gabriela. She killed my uncle when I was a girl. She knows we're working together. Mm -hmm. If Mira Morales is not surrendered to me immediately, I'll be forced uh -oh. to conduct an exhaustive investigation. Every home will be searched. Every citizen's identity will be checked. And all transgressions will be harshly prosecuted. <laughs> you! Luis! Where is Mira? Where? I have to stop this! Gabriela! Let him go, cousin! At least you aren't a coward. Your father would be disgusted with the monster you've become. You two traitors can discuss your disappointment together in prison. Hmm. Lord to my chopper. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Mira! Hey, <laughs> freeze!
Come on, Rico, time to do something. Okay, but maybe it's not my turn, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think we just started a rebellion. We didn't have to drag these people into this. They are what we need to put down Project Yapa. Well, they'll need more guns. Eso. <laughs> it's a factory down the road from here. Abandoned. Casquillos vacíos. We used to manufacture black hand weapons years ago. Let's check it out. Luis, right? Organize these people. Anyone who wants to fight the Black Hand gets to fight. Is you up for it, Sargento? Si, senor. Mm -hmm. Mira, I need to make sure my gear is working. I'll meet you at the factory. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hope everything works. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Ha, perfect. Oye, Rico. It's Luis. Uh, I mean, Sargento here. Mira a mí, un mincho a casquillos vacíos. At the factory. Sargento and Izzy did some research. They can help you get this place up and running. Who's Izzy? Hola, I'm the hacker. Uh, hi, that's what you've got. Your AR lens, Mira told me, already done. You have an AR lens? Like a little computer on your eyeball? Something like that. Let's get started. Okay, Sargento, you're up. Listo, here's your mission. The factory needs to be powered on, but the doors to the electrical room are being held shut by backup generators. <laughs> Mission accepted, Sargento. Your AR lens will show you where to go. It's only a matter of time before Gabriela sends more black hand to stop us. We need to get these people gone fast. All right. That way. Okay. There's a shooting range over here. What the heck? That was weird. I didn't do that. I thought I said go over here. Now it's time to go over there. Oh, over there. Okay. No, it does want me to go over here. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? I'm used to everything being marked red that I'm supposed to be shooting at. Okay.
Am I out of weapons? Damn it. No, 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 no. God damn it. God damn it, will you stop doing that, Rico? Okay. I had it too, shit. <clears throat> oh, damn it. Come on. Will you? Oh, my God. Stop doing that. It's so one thing I gotta say, this new system is not intuitive. The old one was so easy, I just had to click on what I wanted to do and... God damn it. <laughs> so you figure out how to get into these buildings. Okay. Ah, look in here. You're going there. Thank you. Thank you. Fuel barrels. Mm. Oh, damn it. Generators well shielded. Can you turn it off? I think I can use my grappling hook to rip the plating off. And now I guess I shoot it in the guts. One generator down. Yeah! Okay, two more to go. You know where to look. 
I don't know where that funky thing on my thing is. Two down, one to go. I'm patched into the Black Hand Clones, and they're on their way. Pick up the pace hardware. Okay, it's gonna be difficult. All right, be that way. <laughs> Here's the last one. Come on, please. It's wrong stream. Okay. No problem. My grappling hook. Ah, crud. Seriously? Oh, the handle. Okay. I'm just fucking with you, me. <laughs> oh, you got me good. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I don't understand.
Hello. Hey, what's it going? Oh, so that's where I gotta go. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Just do it. What do I got here? Ah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I still have no idea where that thing on the front end is, but... So I can say anything in this bot with repeated? Yes. Will. Well, <laughs> well with, with certain caveats, unfortunately. Because a profanity filter is on. It's also set up so that if anyone tries to say anything hateful, it will be blocked. Uh, profanity, on the other hand, though, it depends on circumstances. Because it will come up and ask me if I want to post it. So if you're just saying, hey, this game is fucking great, I'll approve that. Well, obviously. Yeah, it's, I'm going to approve that. If you can say something like, oh, you're a fucking idiot, that probably won't go through. <laughs> okay, well, I have a waypoint. I understand. Laughing. I don't understand. Take the, okay, well, I understand that, but I can't get out of this building. Oh, okay. There we go. What day do you stream? Ah, MOT grin. So MOT grin. MOT grin. Rico, you should get back outside. I'm trying to. Okay. Um, what time do I stream? Uh, or what, what day? What days? Well, I stream most days. Um, it just depends on the time. Will depend on my work situation. Um, but I usually will be on. Like I said, uh, most nights, usually around uh, nine o'clock. Unless I have to work, then it's going to be around ten or eleven. It depends on the circumstances. Usually around eleven o'clock at night, though. Um, on the weekends, if I can, I try to do two streams. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm usually here most nights if, um... What country? Uh, USA. I'm actually on the West Coast in Washington State, so it's... Right now, uh, it is currently, uh, midnight, so Pacific time. Just stream just cause? Or are there other games? Uh, no, I, I just started this one. Uh, you just missed that over the weekend I did a shit ton of um, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. Hush. I'm talking to somebody. You're in the way. <laughs> um, like I said, I just did a bunch of um, Kingdom Hearts 3. Almost finished it too, but I had I rented it out so I had to take it back. But as soon as I get the, the game, I'll finish out and off. Um, I'm currently working on a bunch of different games. It's just, I love this game so much and I wanted to get back to it as soon as possible. Um, but I, I do a couple of different things. Uh, right now I am currently working on, uh, a, a little indie game called, uh, Daylin, which is a really simple little, um... Kind of like a crafting RPG, whatever. Simple story. It's really neat. Uh, I'm doing the uh, Dream Daddy um, 
director's cut. And uh, I'm working on Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And if I can get my if I can get it to work sometimes, Subnautica. I've been working on that one as well. So that's currently what I'm working on. Oh, and Adventure Palace. It's another indie game I'm working on. Uh, I just finished doing... Oh... Spider-Man 4 and um, God of War, uh, the new one. And if you want to see any of that, that's actually... It, it, everything gets posted to my YouTube channel, and that link is down below if you go check it out. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff down there. I have a lot of games. I do lots of different things. Um, Destiny 2, I did Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. Uh, I've done a little Fortnite, which I don't really care for that much. I like Realm Royale better. Um, there's a new game that just came out that I want to check and uh, that I've already played. And I want to uh, run that one with, which is the new one from um, Respawn, which is Apex. Uh, Ape oh, what's it called? Oh, damn, I forget what it's called. Um, but it's a new Battle Royale. It's free to play. That, that one's a lot of fun. I like that one. The one, one of the reasons I like about it is not only does it have classifications. So each class has different abilities, whatever. Kind of the way, like Realm Royale does. Um, but the nice thing about that is that when you're in a team, you're automatically a team of three. And one person is chosen as the drop person. So you can make suggestions where to go. But he's the one that tells the team to drop. And the team drops together. So unless you detach yourself and drop us a solo, you drop with your team. So you, you so you stay with your team. This is not a matter of, oh, I forgot to drop. Oh, like like I've played um, a couple times when I was on um, Realm Royale where... Interesting, interesting concept. concept. Yeah, I was with Realm Royale a couple times and nobody marked on the map where they wanted to drop. So by the time I dropped, everybody's on the opposite side of the map that I'm at. So now I'm by myself. And when you're in a team-based shooter, like where, well, when you're when you're in squads, you want to be with your team because otherwise you're gonna be against four people by yourself. And in that case, there's no place, no reason to play. You might as well just leave the game and try again because you're gonna die. You played it on PC. Uh, Realm Royale, yes, I play on both. This is currently on PlayStation Four. I do most of my games on PlayStation Four, but yeah, Realm Royale I got on PC and PlayStation. Subnautica's on PC. Um, Adventure Pals is on PC, so I'll have a couple different things uh, that I do on my PC. Uh, Destiny 4 is actually on, or Destiny 2 is on uh, PlayStation. So will uh, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. When I get that one, that will be on on PlayStation 2. So it depends. It depends on what it is I'm playing. So I do have some PC games. I do have some. Um, so most of them are PlayStation 4 games because right now I don't have like a capture device. And so it is easier uh, to stream uh, from my PlayStation 4 because I don't get the lag that I get from my PC. Because I'm trying to use a capture program uh, and my PC at the same time. Isn't there going to be a third one coming out? <laughs> We're hoping there's supposed to be a third one, but right now, it's anybody's guess. Uh, now that Bungie is completely on its own, they can, if they wish, just keep expanding on Destiny 2. So we don't know what's what they're planning. But originally, when they were with their 10 year plan with uh, Activision, there was supposed to be Destiny 3. Now it's anybody's guess. <laughs> Which is good because I'm hoping that now they're untethered and they're no longer being told what to do, that we might actually get some really good content. So we'll have to see how that works out. Rira, we okay. won't be able to advance the line without more fighters. Any mm -hmm. ideas? We became soldiers after what you did in the slums. Create more chaos. More recruits will come. A whole army of chaos. Just like last time. You know that. This is what you worry from the start. Oscar Espinosa owns this island. The people can't fight him without losing their jobs, their homes. And even if mm. they tried, what chance would they have against a black hand? We have a mutual goal, Rico. 
You help these people defeat the Black Hand, and we'll help you get to Oscar Espinosa. <laughs> okay, Mira. Do it your way. What's first? I got some ideas, Rico. I will ready your eyeball with more information. Well, it's no different than the last time, Rico. Come on. Whole army of chaos. Sure. Army of chaos. And that's what you. That's what we did last time. That's what your buddy called us in for. Was to create chaos and get people that are on our sides. I don't know why he's, you know, so shocked and surprised. You know. That's what this is all about. In playing Red Dead Redemption, the story is amazing, but the online is pretty dull. Oh, is it? Um. Yeah, I heard uh, mixed things. <laughs> Excuse me, God. I've heard mixed things about that. Some people say the storylines, once once you're about uh, 10, 11 hours in, the storylines that's really picking up and it really starts getting interesting. I've heard other people say the storyline just really isn't there, or or it's too slow. Now that's one of the biggest problems is because you can't even with your horse, you don't really go places really fast. Um, and it's a very slow pace. You're always walking through towns and. Especially when you're in camp and stuff and you're, you're walking, you can't run anywhere. And so it's a very slow pace. And so unless you really like that slower pace, um, aspect of a game, you just, it's not a game that you're going to want to get into, uh, because of it. So it, it, and it, like I said, it depends on the, per on the situation. Not everybody's into that. And I know I'm not. Well, every time I heard about the game, it's like, yeah, it, I'm not, first off, I'm not a huge Cowboy fan. So, uh, you know, Cowboy Westerns never really did it for me. So, to want to play Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 just is not my my thing. So, when I heard that it was really slow pace and there was some problems here and there, it's just like, yeah, not my not my thing. Thank you. It's like Fallout. And I, I played Fallout 4 a little bit. I still have to finish that game. I, I kind of stopped. But I real, I mean, I love Elder Scrolls. Don't get me wrong, I love Elder Scrolls. Um, totally got into Skyrim. I played thousands of hours in Skyrim. I played Elder Scrolls Online. Try to do Fallout Four, and it's like, eh. So my nephew's like, "Oh, Fallout seventy six? No thanks. I I couldn't finish Fallout Four. You want me to play a game on online that I don't really care for? No, thank you. Doesn't sound interesting to me. Okay, to events your front line." Your squads hey, are in this February, for Honor would be free on PS4. Yep, already got it. It's funny too because I already have it originally on PC because it was there was a free version on PC. It's me, Luis, and Sargento. Listen, I've got some of my people together and we've got a surprise for you. Here, I'll send you the coordinates. From what you're saying, it sounds like you'd like Overwatch. Oh, I play Overwatch on both PC and PlayStation 4. <laughs> Uh, you nailed the head the nail on the head that is for damn sure I am a huge Overwatch fan as a matter of fact I am currently sporting I need to actually get a new set of head a new headset because I need one with an actual mic uh, a better headset but I when I bought this last year I loved it and I had to have it I'm that actually game, that game is so toxic yeah I know it can be I know it can be but like I said, I'm actually sporting right now the uh, Razer Mechas, which is the Diva inspired he inspired headset because I'm a Diva main. <laughs> I can't see anybody. I don't know what they're shooting at. Okay, well you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna come up here. I wish I had like a sniper rifle. I don't know if they're just shooting to shoot or what they're doing. I think they're just shooting to shoot. Okay, we're just gonna come over here and 
see where this guy wants me to go. I mean, Genji, but it's really hard with the meta these days. Yes, it is. I used to do a lot of Reaper uh, when it first came out. do that okay let's try this again shall we is this first time you play just cause for yes see my problem is is that I'm not used to um Inverted controls. I never really did like inverted controls. I don't mind. That's one thing. When I played just cost three, I didn't mind using the. Um, the helicopters, because the helicopters I could control for whatever reason, for whatever crazy reason I could control them, because they were they were more uh, intuitive than using some of the ships, or not the ships, some of the uh, the um, some of the planes, because the planes for some reason I just could not run those. I crashed like crazy. I would crash into everything. Yes, there was setting in there to change invertation. Yeah, I know, but then it would change everything else too, and it. Did, uh, so where am I going? Okay. So what? Why am I going that way then? I got to say that the wind gun is my favorite weapon. Yeah, I bet. I remember in 3 I had this lightning gun. I forget what it was called, the Tesla cannon that they had. Oh, I love the Tesla cannon. It's like str calling lightning out of the air and just striking the ground. Oh, that was so much fun. I was saying a tall building just strike my enemies dead. It is off. I bet it's OP. But I said that was that was how the uh, the Tesla cannon was, man. Because it was like you just fuck like a god, you know. I said just literally setting lightning down, on the, you know, from the sky on your enemies. That was just way too much fun. God. I've never played any of the Just Cause games. Uh, well, if you played four and you like four, you need to three is just as good. Two, I played. I didn't play one. I played two. Uh, two was a great game. It's a great shooter. It's a lot of action, but it was very, very difficult because uh, for that one, the um, ammo was really the ammo economy was really difficult. Uh, I I ran out of the I ran out of ammo a lot. There wasn't a lot, as many drops. Aha! Uh -huh. There wasn't as many drops from the enemies, and you had to you had to actually find uh, ammo caches all over the place. And when they ran out, that was it. In fact, I got stuck on this on the one sequence uh, where um, I had to fight like this massive bunch of uh, enemies and this big, huge tank thingy. And then at the end, you're supposed to zip line to the plane and get out. And I tried to do that, and I fell to my death and had to redo the whole thing over again. 
and I just kept dying. And every time I'd reload, I reload with less ammo every single time. So I got to a point where I, I like the fifth time is like I have no ammo. I have I I shot like one round, and now I'm completely out of ammo, and I can't find any of these enemies. It's like what am I supposed to do? I literally have to start the whole mission over again just so I can get ammo. And it's like so I never actually went back to finish it. Um, and so when three came out and they talked about the zip lines and some of this and the wingsuit and stuff, I thought I gotta try this. It looks this looks wild. Looks way too cool. Had to play it. Oh my god, I had so much fun. It was oh, it was just glorious. Uh, it's on my channel again, on my YouTube channel. I actually have a sequence on there where it was just, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Just just this glorious event. I grapple. I mean, I had, I had done it several times. I died actually, but this scene was great. I, just, I grappled to uh, the enemy helicopter. I was shooting down a couple of the, the, the big things to blow up. Helicopter gets hit, gets struck, blows up. I drop to the ground. Helicopter falls. And then what every YouTube th channel. Uh, the rats cast. It's, well, yeah, I don't have a link for it yet because I don't have enough. Um, followers to get an actual link but just look look up the rats cast everything is under the rats cast so uh you should find it but anyways yeah it's called michael bay eat your heart out <laughs> um but anyways like i said so you, you see the helicopter drop everything explodes at once it's a huge massive explosion and it's like boom mission complete that was it five five minutes Mission complete. I was laughing hysterically because that's all it took. Everything just, as soon as the helicopter fell and blew up, everything just exploded in this huge pillar of fire. And it was just absolutely glorious. And it was my, probably my proudest shining moment. It was just, I had to say that one, that one piece. It was so brilliant. Oh God. I loved it. It was, it was just the best. And that's one of the reasons why I love. If you never play Just Cause, if you just watch that moment, you'll go. You'll say, "I have to play this game because it was just so much damn fun." Oh, you know, even if you don't follow the story mission, just go around blowing shit up. It was just so much fun. Load up the truck. We're leaving in 60 seconds. Did you organize this ambush? See, si. most of the stuff we recovered is standard black ammunition. But I also found some of these. We're not sure what they do. We didn't want to mess with them. Um, there's a bunch more left in the truck. Good, fine, Sargento. This could be useful. Anyone have a screwdriver? <laughs> Are you adding that to your grappler? This oh, game gives me far free vibes for some fight. reason. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> Black hand are coming, Sargento! Mierda! Listo, I'll drop the truck. I've got a chopper nearby waiting to extract this. Make sure you get there in one piece. Gracias, parcero. We're moving out! This is going to be fun. Yeah, I never actually played Far Cry myself. People, I thought coming. I put the helicopter away. Okay, where are they? I want to blow some people up. And when I mean blow people up, I mean I want to send them into the air. What's your favorite game at the moment? Um. Uh, ooh, tank. Can I get in the tank? No. Uh, favorite game at the moment. Um. Gee, that's a, a good question. Um. I don't know. I mean, um.
God of War, I think so far is, I think it's my ultimate favorite game. I mean, I know this is gonna come in really, really close because I just love this game, this the original one. But oh, okay, I gotta get in the back of this thing. Okay, won't be that way. Let's get out of here. That balloon thing is pretty cool, huh? I think it'll come in handy. Where'd you learn to plan an ambush? Adela Bispo, you came out of nowhere, and the Black Hand didn't know what hit him. It was epic. Eh? What's that in the road? Must have been some fighting here. Uh, any ideas, Rico? Oh, yeah. Just one. Okay, how am I supposed to... Okay, how are we supposed to do this? Ah, okay, there we go. What's, What's your, your rank, rank in Overwatch? Overwatch? I'm, I'm high flat. Oh, I don't. I start. I don't do competitive very much, so I'm still bronze, unfortunately. I mainly just play the regular game. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Action column. Tap hold. Okay. Okay, add medium force airlift to the auto cuddle. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go. Nope, oh, come on. Go away, please. You think I'd make a good agent like you? Keep your eyes on the road, sir. Because I think I could do it. Play it again. You do going to more. understand the settings just like me. Yeah, I know. I, I got to get used to it eventually. Because it's all new stuff, but yeah. Listo, listo. Can you fill in as the oh, is that what this is? So I understand what's going on in this game. Huh? Can you fill in? As to what happened in... Okay. Well, Just Cause 3 is a separate story. Just, I mean, they're all separate stories. You, the only thing you need to know uh, about Just Cause 3 for this one, they tell you. And well, actually for any of them. The, the, the Hand and the, the main villain of this. Basically, Rico has pretty much killed and um, removed major players in his organization. Um, and so in the last one, he basically deposed this dictator 
and uh, free the uh, civil, uh, the continent of Medici, this is the city, uh, this, uh, and um, that's really all you need to know. The thing is, is that the major part about this game, which you missed earlier, is that the guy that we're here that's that's running this whole show here, right? He used Riku's father's technology and his his, his knowledge to create these uh, super powered weapons. It's supposed to be able to control the weather, and basically the whole idea is to make uh, the country nice and you know. Pretty much, you know, palatable for everybody, so you, you know, it's, you know, you don't have to worry about storms or whatever. Everything be under control by them, but that also means that they can create devastating storms of, you know, disastrous proportions. Not only against the city, but against their enemies. The country name is Medici. Medici, yeah. They say Medici, but still. Uh, I know that the things the thing pronounces it wrong. Yeah, but yeah, the country Medici, so it's great. Anyways, um, and the thing is, is like I said, it's it's Rico's father who created that technology because he was a scientist, and he ended up getting killed or whatever, dying mysteriously. And the lady that he's helping, her father also died very mysteriously, and that is why he's here is to get is to you know find out what happened. And pretty much kill this guy. And that's all you need to know. The rest of it, the whole the whole revolution thing, that's just the backdrop for you to cause a shit ton of damage. That's all it is. <laughs> just like with the last one, it's just all it is is just for you to cause a shit ton of damage. You know, it's caused it's called just cause because it's it's kind of that's a double it's a the name is kind of a a, a joke. Because it has a double meaning, right? Rico goes into these countries. He liberates these people. He does. He kills all of these enemies, whatever, because it's a just cause. He's rescuing. He's, he's freeing these people, okay? But the whole idea of this whole background is for you as a player to go in and fuck things up just because. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I can't use those ammos. Okay. Anyway, I learned to improvise a lot in my old life. See? Growing up in the slum, mom dead. Oh man, they took my thing. You figure stuff out. This is what works for me, Sargento. You find what works for you. Bien, I guess. So now, just worry about getting us to the extraction point. Extraction? Equal pucha! I need to call them! Be free. You shooting at me. I love doing that. No problem. Just dropped her. <laughs> oh, God. You got this, Rico? Please go. The gun. The gun. This is Jama. Extraction required at Bravo Station. 
At Bravo Station. We talked about this. Uh, hear that? I think the truck is having problems. Yeah, it's getting shot a lot. Oh. Oh shoot, that was my fault. Bummer. <laughs> I blew up the truck. <laughs> oh god, I love this game. Oh my god. I think that's one thing I like about this the game so much is even if I screw something up, I don't care. It's just so much fun. Friendly fire. CC, yep. We'll be waiting. Over and out. They're still coming. Nice. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, it's local, yes. Rico is badass. Yes, he is. But sometimes he screw up. That's more me than anything else. See, right now I'm I'm out of ammo, which doesn't help. for the army but i want to be you know in the shit like you did you play the last of Guess us what? and if you did did We're you like it right now i did not play the last of us originally yeah, no i thought about playing it but i never i'm not a huge zombie fan so it was never anything that was overly where who's there he is it was never was anything that was overly appealing to me so that's why i didn't actually play That being said, I thought about picking up the, the game anyways. And just playing it for the fun of it anyways. Just because it was supposed to be such a really good story. Oh, there's a hell There it is. That's what I was looking for. I want this bad boy. I'm usually not very good with, with driving vehicles. I'm usually all over the map. But I had gotten so good at driving in Just Cause 3, it was not even funny. That's weird. The thing's telling me to go that way, but the thing's over here.
I have okay, an Xbox you... and a trash PC, so I can't really play PS4 games like that. Ah, uh, no, 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 get in. We're here, but extraction's not here yet. Shit. Lock and load, people. The black hat. Damn it. So what happens when I get when you, when you get kicked off the truck? Ooh. Okay. What do we got here? I wanted to play that Spider-Man game so bad. Yet. Yeah. We gotta hold them off until that chopper gets you. Yeah, Spider-Man is is the shit. The Black Hand want their supplies back. Oops. Up. Really? I shot all the bullets at him and I still missed? Lost my mind. Who's shooting at me? Oh. Dang it. Are you? Racist black hand. God damn it. Where's the. Great. Thank you. Now, can I actually get into the helicopter? Great. Okay, that's weird. They changed the, the mechanics. They used to be able to climb into the helicopter. Think because there is a sniper in the heli. Maybe. If 
but I had taken out the sniper. There we goes. Yes, helicopter. Yes, target does. There is two snipers. Yeah, but I each time I try to get on board originally, I end up taking out the the person who was inside the helicopter. This is weird. I'm not used to not having guns. A higher love. Yep, I knew that was happening. As soon as I got hit from this, as as two. two? Try three. Two more came up from behind me. Now three. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Whoa, that was intense. That guy went bye bye. Okay. The only thing I don't like about this is you can't duck. Uh oh. They got enemies everywhere, don't they?
I need a new weapon. God damn it, who keeps shooting me? Well, who keeps, I just say who keeps blowing me up, really. Is this guy, oh, maybe it's his tank thingy? You dead now? Thank you. Asshole. Oh, really? Shit. God damn it. Seriously? Oh my god. Take me alive. Hola, Nico. I got a call from this guy, Javi Huerta. Did a job for him a while back. Do you think he might be able to help us out? Maybe. He was trying to take down Espinosa. The truth is, I think you might be able to help him out. Ouch. I'll look into it. Gracias. This is how I was going to phase him. There's something else. Hey, Sarge. You said I could call you on this number? Who are you? And you got Rodriguez conference in. Good. Listen, Dom, I want to help out your little revolution. Doing a little shoot by the river. Swing by. We'll do lunch. Ciao. Who was that? She's like a movie producer. I ran into her crew near El Abismo. Kept asking her about you. But I mean, it sounds like she wants to help. A movie producer. Hmm. Air brakes. Oh, no, we don't want air brakes.
There we go. So that's where I'm headed, huh? <laughs> Don't chill too far. I don't know if they're going to give us uh, the jetpack like they did in, in 3. I love when I had the jetpack. It wasn't really a jetpack jetpack. It just it gave us just the ability to extend the, the flight time. So that um, when you're on the wingsuit, you literally could just use the, the, the rocket pack to jet you up and you could fly forever because the, uh, the jet pack was what kept you up. Um, with this, you have to constantly try to use the wind and uh, kind of pull up so that his, the wingsuit catches the wind so it lets you keep going. Um, but that doesn't always happen. A lot of times you just drop no matter what. You can't fly very far. Uh, and so one of the achievements was uh, trying to fly a certain distance. In fact, there was actually a record. Uh, like you, had, you could see your friends how far you uh, you flew. And I had one guy I kept, we kept like, every time I would go in, I'd see him like, oh, shoot, he flew further than I did. So I had to fly just a little bit more than he did every single time to be, keep beating this record. <laughs> and come back and he beat my record again. Like, God damn it. You must be Rodriguez, the revolutionary. You must be Javi. I am not. There's little time to explain. Javi said you would be able to bring him the equipment he needs. Did he? The Black Hand have confiscated his things over by the waterfall. If you defeat them, you can take his equipment to him at the Tomb of Sma. Dios.
Snipers are good for for certain things, but I. I'd rather have a regular uh, AR. Senor Rodriguez, this is Adi Huerta. I'm sorry we weren't able to meet. This better be worth it, amigo. It is. I promise you. Hmm. This is some place, Javi. An aqueduct. At least six centuries old. And sealed off by the Black Hand since its discovery. Uh huh. I promise I will explain everything. There's a map inside the plane. You can get my coordinates from there. Your map. Where am I going? I'd like to begin with where you're coming from. That aqueduct is hidden behind those doors for a reason. For years, they have gathered evidence that the indigenous peoples of Solis were more advanced than we've been told. The Espinosas didn't like anyone challenging their narrative. I was in prison. My wife won't speak to me. My reputation is ruined. Your shady friends seem to think you are okay. I made an allies in prison. People who'd seen the cracks in the facade. Now they help me uncover the truth. And what do you need me for? I believe I have discovered the path to the tomb of Otorongo, last ruler of the pre Espinosa people of Solis. According to the history books, Otorongo was executed for countless murders. But I believe the reality is more complex and dangerous. To who? The Espinosas. Their monopoly. If this part of history is not true, what else might be false? Histories, criminal records, election results. Truth is a commodity to the wealthy. Dropping off plata and kachin. Your lie becomes the law. You had a lot of time to think in prison, huh? You have no idea. Senor Rodriguez. Find me at the mouth of the cenote when you arrive. The what? Ah, a cave in the top of the mountain. I have no idea how to land those things. I've never been able to land a plane successfully once. Helicopters! Planes? Never. And and the fly mechanics on that is really, really weird because the way it turns and it, it's just it's just weird. Avi Huerta. Did you bring what I asked? See. Si. Your stash is safe for now. Want to put that gun down? It's not a gun, Senor Rodriguez. 
It's a relic. A figure of Otorongo. Mid 16th century. So, were you going to hit me with that? Hit you? <laughs> I was gonna run away with it. To protect it. It's very precious. Hmm. See, the Black Hand were very interested in your collection. Yes. <laughs> the truth is a very powerful weapon. Oscar Espinosa fears that I will use it against him. And you really think what you find in Otorongo's tomb can help you take down Espinosa? Oh, yeah. Down. Perhaps not. Discredit. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and this is That's even better. Tomb. Oh, hardly. No, this is merely the tomb of his servant, Sumak. But I've been unable to proceed further without my retract motor. Did you bring it? <laughs> I see. Bueno. Let's begin. is why we need the retract motor Rico. I believe it is connected to underground machinery. Use the retract motor to pull on the device. That sounded like something. I see it. A giant head. Rico, follow it. I can tell what kind of day this is going to be. Okay, and yeah, Jones, this is not. <laughs> This guy and I are at the floor of the cave. What do you see? There's a mechanism in the ground. Looks about the same size as the head. It's a giant lock, Rico. The Uma is the key. Can you use the retract to get the Uma to the mechanism? Why not? Something happened. A door opened up. It must be the vault where Sumak sleeps eternal. Rico, please. There's a human skull with a candle inside. Light it and be ready for. There's text on the wall. I'm buried. Only five beds remain. That mean anything hmm. to you? No. It sounds like a single line from a longer text. There must be more. If it's gonna screw over Espinosa. Count me in. Bueno. Others close to Otorongo will likely have the other lines. The tombs of his family. His advisors. I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, awesome. Now, how the hell did I get out of here? What in scary room? Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, there was a helicopter pad here.
Okay. So, there's that. That's still locked. I guess we can go there. It'd be nice if I had a vehicle, though. that means Oh, wait. <gasps> ah! I hate when I do that. Trying to hurry up and catch the thing, but Que mas Rico, there's a member of a black hand counterintelligence unit nearby expecting a ride. Can you pretend to be their driver? Come on, you. And now I lost the driver. Yep. I lost him.
Mm-hmm. Seriously? Let go, let go! Damn it. Thank you. Pick up a weapon I can use. No longer advising the RSL. Oh, you finally done? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you've got to love the absurdity of this game. <laughs> See, I, I, I miss the old um, helicopters because I had like regular guns. So I could shoot on top of the fact that we had the rockets. This just has one or the other. any anti-aircraft which is unusual because usually bases like this have anti-aircraft
There it goes. Academia one I I found two areas labeled pre education center. Marking them for you. That's a start. I'll bring them to the facility entrance. Have you back on standby. I am kind of surprised that they haven't bothered to uh, send the helicopter to destroy to kill me yet. In three, I would have been dead by now. They would have—they would have sent helicopters and planes. And all sorts of crap at my ass. Oh, there we go.
one black hand unit. Stand by for more intel. All right, people, it's time to free yourselves. Come on. Oh, gracias, gracias. We owe you so much. Later. Vámonos. Sargento, ideas. Use your grapple thing to pull the bridge down. Or blow up the mechanism keeping it up. Hostile hasn't re-engaged. Eyes open for further contact.
crush it! I have no idea how to get those doors open. That's just like the weirdest thing. Oh, wait, ammo. I need to find these guys. Oh, oh that's what it was. I left that one open. Oh, looky. Oh, wait a minute. There was a guard in there. Okay, now. Where's the helicopter? Where's the helicopter? Oh, there she is. God damn it. Get up there, Rico. Thank you. Well, there's no bullets? Okay, never mind. Let me go in that actually works, will you? Ah, oh, crap. 
crap. Damn it. God, I can't believe it's already been three hours. Oh, God. I'm having so much fun. I can't. I just lost track of time. This game is so much fun. <laughs> Dang it, that's not what I meant to do. Stop it. Oh, my God, seriously. Can't let these idiots die, unfortunately. Got a group to the entrance. Send someone to extract them. Listo. Extraction inbound. Why are you doing still here? And why is he dead? Oh, you idiots.
big door. There should be a control panel you can use. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay. Here we go again. Oh, Jason, what's going on? The army of chaos is breaking you free, but we'll have to fight our way out. Listo, vámonos, amigos. We're getting out of here. Listo, cover. Okay, come on. That's the last group, Sargento. Evac inbound. Hey, Rico, this is a real revolution. See or no? That's the idea. Okay. Not only that. It opens that up now. Okay, then we have. Woohoo! Nice large territory. Good work, people. I can't tell now. This whole base is ours. We acquire target now. Additional black hand units are on their way. And now this opens up, so we can do this if I want to do this. Some of these are like side projects, whatever, they're like little, uh, uh not really side missions, but like, um, what do you call them, um, challenges? Like, little mini challenges, race this, do this, fly here. Uh, zip line or, or uh, use your use your um, wingsuit to glide o o through this and stuff like that just simple things um, just cause three had them too I didn't do most of them um, you can get like certain additional upgrades because like what happens is like at least in three you had weapons and you had vehicles and you had certain things that unlocked when you unlock certain missions did certain what have you and then you had other stuff that unlocked with some of the challenges, but I never really, I didn't really need a lot of really massively, uh, all the major weapons. Most of the stuff I needed, I can unlock in the game normally. Um, 
which is what I end up doing. So, and then like the regular cars, because you had one guy, I guess, who um, fixed their cars for you. So if you hijacked a car, stole a car, and you took it to a specific place, whether it was an um, enemy vehicle or if it was just like a regular car on the road, um, parked someplace, whatever, you just broke it in and took it and took it to this garage, they could like reproduce it and they could always, you know, you could always summon another car. And they have these drops. It was funny because they helicopters drop this giant um, steel container, like the steel boxes you saw earlier that the houses are made out of. It would drop, and whatever the vehicle was would drop out of that. And so sometimes you would have this large container open up, and boom, there's this super large helicopter or tank that normally wouldn't fit in that thing. It's like okay, that made no sense whatsoever. They can. Couldn't explain that for the life of me, but still, not the point. Um, it was fun. It was just crazy, uh, silly, and a whole lot of fun. So it didn't really matter. <laughs> I enjoyed myself a great deal. Um, and like I said, I've already... Normally, my, my shows only go about two hours. I try to stop at two-hour point. But I'm having so much fun in this game, I did not realize that it was almost three hours. It's like, damn, it's, it's going to be one of these games again where just I'm just... And again here, I'm just going to play, and I'm just going to lose track of time. Because uh, that's how, what happened with the with Just Cause 3. I just lost track of time. I'd be playing for hours and hours, uh, streaming, and just like, pfft, whatever. So much for the two hours stream. I'm just going to go until I come to a good stopping point, because I'm having way too much fun. Oh, and if I didn't have to work and get some sleep, I would still be playing this right now, because I <laughs> just I love this game uh, so much but it is 2 o'clock in the morning and I probably should be stopping because I'm getting a little loud now <laughs> it's only going to get worse it's only going to get worse um, so but I want to thank everyone who stopped off and check out my channel uh, you guys are awesome I appreciate it so very much um Uh, big shout out to uh, Not Slasher and uh, uh, Splits313 for uh, chatting up with me. I appreciate it. I always enjoy talking to everybody and, and uh, hearing what everybody has to say. But yeah, I have I have a really early day tomorrow, so I really need to get to bed. Um, and I probably should have been streaming this long. But that's okay. Um, again, if you want to check out uh, my playthrough of Just Cost 3, it's on my YouTube channel. Uh, just look up the Rats cast or click the link down below in the description. Uh, or any of my other games, including the Kingdom Hearts series, which I have. Uh, please and thank you. Don't forget to follow along and subscribe if you're new to my channel, because I do appreciate it, and it helps out a lot when you do these things, as well as give me a thumbs up if you're on the YouTube channel and you're already enjoying the content. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave me those uh, right here on Twitch, on YouTube, any of my social media sites, or of course my Discord page, which is down below, again, in the descriptions. Um, on both YouTube and on Twitch, so go check it out. Thank you guys again for being here, for being a part of the show. Hope to see you guys on the very next episode of the Rats Cast. Until then, this is Cybrat signing out for now. <laughs> Later, bye.